and welcome to the Harvest 2.0 video. My name is Jana Carter and I'm the Program Manager for Harvest Reporting Server at Intelligent Systems. On behalf of myself and the entire team working on Harvest, we're pleased to introduce you to our newest release, Harvest Reporting Server 2.0. As Mark Smith, our Chief Social Scientist, puts it, without reporting, social media systems provide authoring without analysis. Like driving at night with your headlights off, managing social media systems without reporting to illuminate the road ahead is an invitation for uncertainty. Harvest Reporting Server provides the data you need to monitor and manage your communities and to see the road ahead. Harvest Reporting Server 2.0 is Intelligent Systems' dynamic social analytics and intelligence application. It'll help illuminate the road ahead and see the value your online community brings to your business. Harvest lets you see inside your online community and understand the social going-ons across your users. Harvest delivers value to your business by helping enterprise organizations analyze consumer data and understand the value and sentiment of customer conversations. It is difficult enough to locate where conversations are happening, but even more difficult to analyze what they are saying and understand their tonalities. Harvest eases this burden by providing analysis around your online community and its users. Today I'll walk you through some of the new additions in this release. As the program manager for Harvest, they gave me free reign as to what I want to show you. And let me tell you, it wasn't easy. I have a lot of favorites, but let's start with navigation. Harvest is laid out using tabs. This enables you to drill down into information quickly and easily that's relevant to your business. Harvest includes the dashboard tab, activity, content, groups, moderation, sentiment, and finally, the users tab. The dashboard tab is your default tab. The dashboard is your launching pad. In addition to providing the ability to monitor common reports, it enables you to step in the direction based on what you want to know. Now there are a few common elements found on each of the tabs. One is the date range. By default, Harvest shows you a two month date period, including the previous month and the current month. This enables you to see forecasted information on available reports. You can customize the date range at any time by selecting one of our default time periods or by selecting a customized date range to suit your business needs. For this demonstration, we'll just leave it on the default date range. Another common element across the tabs is the ability to share data. Harvest offers a wide range of reports and a wide range of ways in which you can share the data with others. We really want you to step outside the browser and reap the benefit of Harvest. You can do this via subscriptions. You can easily subscribe to any report. And it's very easy to manage your subscriptions via the subscriptions option in the upper right hand corner. And the number following the word subscriptions indicates how many reports you're subscribed to. For example, I'm subscribed to three reports. I can also share this data with colleagues via email or instant messenger, or I can easily download it to a PDF file. Most of our reports will include a way to subscribe via RSS, download the image to a JPEG, or embed this image. The data is at your fingertips. You decide how and with whom to share it with. The last common element across the tabs I wanted to show you is the community scorecards. Or as I like to put it, these are my eyes into the community when I only have a few minutes but I'm curious about what has transpired. The scorecards quickly summarize important information and enable community managers and business owners to understand the pulse of the community. Scorecards help you identify your progress towards goals and maintain a balanced community by monitoring commonly used reports and indicating if the data value has increased or decreased over time. This enables you to quickly identify areas to keep an eye on, make adjustments to, or discover key wins within your community. Each scorecard lists a common list of reports, their data values, and how they're trending. In addition, you'll see a graph to the right. You can drill down on the graph and look for more information at the detailed level. Keep in mind that Harvest offers over 100 default reports out of the box, but it doesn't stop there. We want to ensure that Harvest is applicable to your business, so we offer a custom reporting package that will let you manipulate data to fit your business needs. Let's jump to the Sentiment tab. This is one area I'm really excited about. Sentiment detection is new for Harvest and fairly new to the online community world. As mentioned earlier, conversations are happening everywhere, but do you know the general positive or negative sentiment your conversations are having? This is where Harvest makes a big leap forward. With our sentiment detection, we can parse through thousands of conversations and provide details around the overall tonality, which keywords or phrases are producing the strongest sentiment, and who's saying them. Let me introduce you to the sentiment section. 
As you'll notice, again, the date range and some of the sharing options are consistent across the tabs. You enter on the scorecard. You'll notice common reports, their data values, and how they're trending. And as mentioned earlier, you can drill down on the graphs. On October 9th, I noticed that we had nine positive sentiments, so let's drill down and understand what these were. The drill down enables me to understand which words and who posted these words. For example, I could continue to drill down on Joe Morrill and find out which four conversations he had that our sentiment detection engine picked up. Sentiment is based on system-driven keywords and phrases, as well as user-defined keywords and phrases. For example, let's say you have an upcoming campaign and would like to track campaign-specific keywords. You can easily add, edit, or delete keywords using the settings options in the upper right-hand corner. Harvest will immediately detect the newly added keywords when next time the tasks are run. Your admin will decide how frequently Harvest is refreshed. So this is an exciting section. This really can help you understand the depths of your conversations. Let's move on to the Users tab. Now this is an area I really like to play around in. I call it the Online Community Population section. Each member of an online community has its own unique contribution style or social fingerprint that he or she leaves on a community. This distinct fingerprint is built around how the user contributes within the community over time. Harvest features user type information that lets you understand who your user types are. For instance, we show you who your overseers are, those who are moderating or administrating your site, your answerers, people leaving comments about conversations, people reading your conversations, people who are posting original conversations, people who are asking questions, and those that are connecting with others. It's truly an innovative way to think about how to categorize and classify groups of people within your online social network. And let me show you how we can go more in depth on this. As you'll notice, the top contributor is Christian Vanderbeck. Let's drill down and see what, how Christian has been participating in your online community. You'll notice that we offer the user type information at the specific user level. So we can go through and see where Christian has been spending his time. You'll notice he's been spending his time quite a bit on the asking piece. He is our number one asker within the community. He's also the number one person administrating and overseeing the site as indicated by the 100%, meaning he's in the 100th percentile. You'll also notice that he doesn't spend a lot of time answering questions or connecting with other users. I could continue to drill down and understand how Christian is participating in the community using his activity report. You'll notice that I can see how many blog posts, forum posts, media uploads, etc. that Christian has participated in. I could drill down and understand which forum threads he's actually started. This area allows me to see when he's actually posted these, in addition to actually drilling down to the specific threads he's started. The icons on the end of each of these posts is an external link taking you to the exact conversation that these appear in. You'll notice on our table formats, you could download this to an XLS. This allows you to further manipulate the data. Now there's a lot more I can show you under the Users tab, but let's move on. Let's jump over to the Content tab. The Content tab helps you understand the depths and the frequency of your conversations. You'll notice that these tabs are laid out by application, so you could drill down and look for information about blogs, forums, media, wiki, or stay at the high level and look at the overall impact it's having on your community. For example, let's jump down to Forum Answers. In this section, we offer, we offer a wealth of reporting so that you can understand the discussions that are happening and where they are happening within your forums at the thread level. You could further drill down into these sections to see each thread and also at the user level. We really want to make sure that Harvest is bubbling up the information that you want to see and that it's easy to interpret. Let's show the Activities tab. The, here on the Activity tab, I can look at the frequency and where these activities are occurring. Again, it's broken down by application, blogs, forums, media, and wiki. Let's jump down to an example under the Views section within Blogs. This section allows me to see the frequency of the views across the blogs and where they're occurring. You'll notice in the graph I see the frequency plus the forecast. You'll also notice these little push pins. These allow me to mark a milestone that I can track on my graphs, such as a product release or a campaign launch. I can also drill down and look at the views per blog. You'll notice on Rob Howard's bl blog, there's been 602 views. I could drill in further and understand which posts garnered the most views. 
There's so much more I'd like to show you about Harvest, but my time is almost up. With over 100 default reports out of the box, there's a wealth of information here about your online communities. And once you install Harvest, it'll actually go back as far as your community dates back, so you'll see information immediately upon install. And as our developers claim, and I certainly believe them, with our custom reporting package, you can create hundreds more reports to fit your business needs. It's really social analytics made simple. For more information about Harvest Reporting Server, visit us at www.telligent.com or take Harvest on a test drive of your own at reports.communityserver.com. Questions, feedback, please email me at jcarter at